all right, I'm guilty of holding on to photos too long sometimes. But when I do deliver, I like to over deliver. And sometimes time passed adds value. Digital files are cool, but I like to see people enjoying an actual tangible photo, something they can actually touch or turn in a book or put on the wall. And it's even cooler when you get a chance to deliver an actual print in person. I've documented music and culture ever since college, and shortly after moving to New York, I spent some time as the photographer for The Combat Jack Show, a pioneer in the podcast game. I capture shots of the guests, behind the scenes of the interview, of course that key shot at the end of every interview. And then afterwards we just hang around and debrief and discuss what to do on the next show, or just critique on how this particular show went. I've been shooting with the show for a few weeks and by this point photographed about 10 guests. I've been feeling like I needed to switch up the style and also keep a setup that was easy to carry around New York City and you know on and off the subway just walking around not having a, a car to put your stuff in. I wanted something light and compact. So I got a ring light that I could easily break down and a 5-in-1 reflector that I could pull the reflector off and have a, a scrim as the backdrop. The first guest I shot in this style was Razkaz. He had these cool glasses on that gave the reflection of the ring light. But the second guest was J. Cole. Some guests come alone or with one person, and others come with an entire entourage. When they come with a lot of people, it usually means you only get about 60 seconds to shoot with them. As opposed to the normal, what, five minutes? Everybody had on black, so I don't even know who was with who. He was on a press tour and was also known for, I guess, not doing a lot of interviews. But the Combat Jack show had to happen. And so did this shot. So a few years ago, I took a pretty cool shot of a rapper that I've been uh, admiring for a few years kind of came up you know same peer bracket you know not same circle just age group so you know it makes sense for you to like what a rapper is talking about especially when you can relate to the struggles they're going through so fast forward um, I was shooting this podcast called the Combat Jack Show and J. Cole ended up being a guest uh, one of the people who helped you know make that connection was a dope dude by the name of Phil. Wow. This is a Combat Jack episode. Damn, that's crazy. Yo, Adam. It's a very pivotal time. This is this is the beginning of the uh, from world code This is the beginning. <laughs> this is on metal, right? Yeah, this is on. Oh, this is fire. This is where the nigga put the rodeo down. Yeah, jewelry. Homeless homie was born. Homeless homie. I don't mind it. This is the. This is when it's from. This is the tour. And this is when it went. I mean, this tour happened. This happened first. It went gold before they went on tour. Yeah, I like that. We gotta, we're gonna have to probably shift some of these around. Cause like, if this is in March, this tour started at the same time. So we're going to say like, this is March 2015. And this is March when it started. This is fire, man. thank you. This is cool that it's done on metal. Quick tip, when using a ring light, it can be pretty bright. So try to guide your model or guest subject to look through the light at the lens or at you. When you see that light, you might want to look at it just like a, a moth to a flame or a deer in the headlights. It's easy to look at that light, but if you can just look through it, it'll take the, the strain off your eyes and give you that great shot with the ring light filling your whole face. So I actually have a little over 75 portraits from the Combat Jack show, including never shared before behind the scenes shots. So I'm pulling everything together to compile the best shots and moments from the show 
for a limited run book. My goal is to drop the book in April. To follow along with the process, you can visit my Patreon page for exclusive behind the scenes videos on how I'm doing putting together the project and tips for how to put together your own book. You can also purchase 10 of the portraits from the book before its release for a limited time. Each print will be signed and matted. Proceeds from these prints go to supporting the cost of putting this book together. So all sales are greatly appreciated and available at sumsbrand.com. So to wrap things up, gift your models with prints. It puts a smile on everyone's face and a photo on the wall. I'm Brian Summers. Thanks for watching this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell for alerts for when the next video like this comes out. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.